very bright, outgoing, fun-loving, intelligent guy, very much there, alive, very involved in all sorts of activities, very diverse activities. He played rugby, he played football for three different teams at one time. He used to uh, do course fishing, um, snowboarding. He was involved in everything. He was a mine of useless information as well. Whatever he did, he went for it 100%. Jordan had not long been back from the Alps, having worked a season there. And his girlfriend, who had been working in Switzerland, came over just for the weekend so they could spend some time together. Um, they got together with all their friends. So they were sitting on a bench when a car pulled up. The passenger was extremely aggressive, started verbally abusing Jordan's girlfriend. Um, and whilst he was trying to placate the guy, the driver of the car was seen to feel around under the seat to put something down his sleeve, come round and behind Jordan and to hit him one blow to the head. And I'm told he fell to the ground, eyes rolling, foaming at the mouth for a few minutes and then was unconscious. They thought he was dead. The doctor said from the scan that most of the damage was to the front of his brain. The implications of that were that he would have difficulty with cognitive function and there would be behavioural issues. The worst thing is, I think for both of us, is that they're not immediately evident. His brain doesn't tell him when he's hungry, so he has great difficulties around food. He gets overexcited and doesn't, can't stop talking. People sometimes think he's, he's just being foolish or being rude. Um, and judge him on that, and it's his brain injury. The hidden disability issue, nobody really knows because he looks like an ordinary guy. And how do you find me to be now? You go through the process, don't you, of over-fatigued, then you become over-anxious, you then start to become hyperactive, and at that point you've gone over the top and you, you become irrational and there's no, no reasoning with you. What do you think my greatest challenge will be? It's going to be difficult for you to find a career that you're passionate about given your difficulties. You need to find something that you're able to, to undertake and fulfil to the highest standard possible because that's who you are. This can happen to anyone. Perhaps people should take a second thought before they judge.